So this is the skirt. The skirt that I'm going to change into this amazing top. I'm going to show you all the different hand sewing techniques and the sewing machine techniques in order to create a beautiful refashioned couture garment. There is lining on the inside and I want that lining to stay in place. So I'm going to show you a hand sewing technique which is called the diagonal stitching in order to keep that in place as I partially deconstruct this skirt. And for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Colleen Geely. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas to refashioning clothing. So going back to the skirt, the first thing to do is to pin the lining to the skirt skirt then you get a needle and thread and we're going to do the diagonal stitching do have a video tutorial on how to do that so make sure you watch that Remove the belt. And keep the skirt as flat as possible. And I'm going to be cutting below the dark points, but I'm going to turn it to the back because the back darts are longer. And pin along the top of the waist. The next step is to remove the top section of the skirt. So I'm just going to put a couple of pins in so I have a cut line, just making sure I'm going below the longest dart. Focusing on the top section, I want to make sure that I don't lose this slider. So I need to put a stopper on the zip tape. So I'll put it along here. I do have a video tutorial on how to do this technique. I'll link it in the description. I'm going to come about here because I want to turn this back. So we're creating a hem to the bottom of this section. So once you've secured the zip, put interfacing at the bottom and then turn it into the inside of the section and then you get the lining and you match that up, turning that under in the same way, getting pins and pinning that all the way around ready for some hand stitching. I'm going to be using a slip stitch for this. This section is now finished. All I need to do is place the belt through the loops and I decide that I'm going to have, this is the front, but I'm going to wear it that way. And this is the back where you got two on each side of the centre back, two darts. I might even wear it that way as well. I have the zip down the centre front, or could even be down the centre back. I've got choices. So this is finished. 
all hand sewn on the inside. And now all I need to do is work on the top section. So the top of this is more or less finished. So I'll just need to make sure that the bottom edge is nice and neat. So I'm going to do the same thing with this edge where I'm going to put a strip of interfacing all the way around, turn it and then hand sew the lining section to the bottom up here in order to create a nice and neat clean finish to this hem. And then I will be opening up the sides so that my arms can fit through. So let's get started. And I have done exactly the same that I've done to the belt section. And now, let's just get, this is the centre back with the high slit. Uh, vent, which is super nice. So all I need to do now is put tailor tacks, which I've done here and here, and I'm going to open up this seam. I'm going to do toe tacks on the other side, so I'm transferring the positions to make sure that I put them back into the right place when I come to turn it onto the right side. Let me just show you the inner workings. So yeah, we've got a big section here of no fabric, of no lining, but you know I'm working with what I've got. So yes, yeah, so I need to just also open up the seam on the lining as well. And then there's going to be more hand sewing. And then I'll be more or less finished. It's all about how I'm going to fasten the top section here so it stays around my shoulder. But we'll get to that once we've opened up the side seams of the skirt. I'm just removing the overlock stitch, serge stitch. I do have a video tutorial. I'll show you how to do this. Can be a little bit tricky, but just be patient and you'll get there. Hello, it's the following day and i'm enjoying this project actually i hope that it actually comes out the way i want it to anyway yes the following day lots of hand sewing i'll bring the camera down in a moment so i can show you i've tried it on and there is one or two tiny issues i hope <laughs> um basically it's about the lining because the lining is there to make garments easier to put on your body and it feels a little bit more comfortable and linings tend to be a little bit smaller than the actual size of the garment um, because it's the inner garment um, and what I found with this towards the hemline there is a not a big difference a huge, not a huge difference just a small difference in the lining which means I've got to make some kind of adjustment within the actual top itself so I'm going to put the fullness so I'll have to make a little bit of fullness in the actual garment itself, the outer garment, the outer fabric, let's just say, call it that. And then I'll be able to get the lining to match up on each of the side seams. So this is the, this is one of the slits, the arm, where my arm comes through and it's nicely finished off with a slip stitch. And there's no problems with that, it's nice and neat, it lays flat. The issue is this side, is the other side, which is, as you can see, you just have to do the best you can. So there wasn't a complete match up here. 
So I'm going to make this as flat as possible and then I'll be able to, as you can see with the basting stitch, I'm able to keep that as flat to the point of where it's the hem section of the skirt, which is going to be the top section to this top where there's an issue. See the lining is not lining up. <laughs> see, you can see the difference. So I need this to be here to line up so I can get this as flat as I possibly can, which I think I'll be able to do. I think I'm going to do, make a few more adjustments there because we've got a little bit of a tuck there. So I may have to unravel this and bring that down a bit more. Which I, um, but if not, then you just have to, which I'll, I'll, I will actually show you, make the most of it as you possibly can. It may mean I just have to bring that down a bit more, which means the line isn't going to be as straight as, let's show me this section, as what it would be here. So it's quite even but there's going to be a big dip so I can sort out the issue that's happening there and making sure that lines up. So to make sure that lines up, there's going to be a lot of fullness to the front, which is good because that allows me to put um, a gathering stitch in here. I just used a hand technique. <laughs> I didn't want to unpick the original hemming to the skirt because you can't see anything on the right side and that's the way I want it to stay okay. and I'll be able to line that up like so do that now about there so this is going to look slightly crooked but that should be okay and then I can continue hand sewing that all the way around to this point here. You can to excuse that. That's my lipstick. <laughs> I'm going to try it on. That's my lipstick there. So, the first thing I'm going to do, let's see, what's the first thing? I think it's advisable that I actually hand sew this into position first. And let me show you the side seam that one's fine you can see there's a, a, a kind of like a dip here compared to the other side but that's so I could get the line to sit as nicely as possible so I don't get any kind of puckering or booching in that area in both the top and the bottom. What we're going to be doing next is the actual fastening at the front here now I do have a little bit left over from this project and for those of you that follow me know that I try to use everything I possibly can in the original garment. If there are any cutoffs, then they'll either go into another project or I make sure I try and use it. I think I'm going to do it in this case. Well, these two are going to have to be in this project somehow at the front so I get a little bit more movement within my shoulders and it hopefully lies a lot flatter as well yeah I think so I haven't used a sewing machine yet <laughs> this has been a project that's been totally sewn by hand yeah that's nice yeah that's it yeah I can set that on the sewing machine I'm going to turn this to the inside yeah and turn that way around so it's nice and finished so I don't have the overlocked edge exposed I don't, just don't like that let's see yeah it's praying here so I'm going to turn that that way and it's going to look quite exciting so I'm going to use a sewing machine to sew that this is going to be sewn by hand uh, yeah, I think it's best to because of the teeth. Yeah, and then it will be done. I 
the top is now complete this is the belt section and this is the back of the skirt that I'm now going to have as the front and I can also have other options as well let me just show you the inside so it's been hand sewn along the hem here using a slip stitch all the way around and that is complete now for the top here it is here are the slits for my arms and the fastening it was here so I managed to use everything <laughs> apart from a tiny bit of the zip tape um, yeah these little scraps I managed to get them into the pocket into the project so we've got the end of the zip there and this was like the back of the zip the backing of the zip so I managed to get that in there quite a cute little detail I may put a button in there at some point but I'm not sure yet so we'll just see how it goes but I definitely will be wearing it like it is the top part is hemmed there was fullness if you remember that was gathered into the back and the bottom also was hand sewn so most of this project I think 99% of this project was done by hand and 1% was done on the sewing machine but um, it's worthwhile um, I think for sure let me just show you the inside there we go so nicely finished off slits on the inside and yeah this is this is the project complete now that's the front fastening here and this is the back and then we're done it's done it's completed and it is gorgeous of course <laughs> And um, there's not much to say really. I'm happy with the way it's turned out. It's a contemporary looking top, as you can tell. Is it functional? Yeah, it is actually. It is. I can move my arms, that's the most important thing. Is it a little bit restrictive? Yes. Um, but not to the point where I wouldn't wear this out and do what I need to do. Um, it does feel a bit different. I'm sure I'll get lots of comments, but it's not been used to all my life when it comes to fashion. And yes, I'm just really excited. It really has turned out the way I thought it would do. That I had the, the, the thought in my head, the design idea in my head. Yes, it's worked out. Um, the back is, uh, there's a bit of a, um, what do you call this, easy at the top here but that was determined by the garment so I just worked with it there isn't any point in going against it because it is the future of garments if we are to and I'll keep on saying this and I'll always keep on saying this we are to do our parts in looking after the planet and not making so many irrelevant garments then this is the future of, uh, of, of fashion it really is so yes i am so happy with the way it's turned out and i just cannot wait to start all this i really can't um hold on it yes oh it is nice i might put a button here i mean i just i, I you know out of the way it looks front and back <laughs> this what i did here is the most fun part of this project because i've used everything in this project and I know some of you may not like how it looks, but it's it's fine. It's it's a new beauty in fashion. It really is. And I'll shut up now because I know I keep going on, but I need to. <laughs> I need to shut up because this video is going to be too long. So yeah. It's it's gorgeous. I didn't think it would work out, but it's staying in position and that is partly because there is some give in the fabric so there's some lycra in the fabric there isn't any in the lining but line doesn't it stops about here so yeah the garments are the future 
see what we can do with the garment it used to be a skirt now it's this contemporary looking top that is gorgeous even though i am being <laughs> subjective in my in my opinion of um garments of the future but yeah it's possible it is possible and i used everything i used all the scraps apart from one little bit which is just that tiny bit of the zip tape that's it if you enjoyed this video tutorial please give me a thumbs up and please do comment below just let me know your ideas and your thoughts on what you think about this project and any ideas for any projects that you want me to think about for the future 